Welcome everybody uh, to this uh, Windows 8 User Experience Fundamentals training. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us around the world. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you are uh, today. Thanks for joining us today. We're very excited to welcome you here. Um, my name is uh, James Senior, and I work in the Windows team. And my job is to help you guys build great apps for Windows 8 and to land them in the Windows Store. Over the last few months, it's been really exciting to work with some other early apps and early developers and designers on creating amazing experiences for Windows 8. And what we've seen is that design and user experience is incredibly important. Um, for the best apps that we've seen in the store today, it's about 40 to 50 percent of the overall project time is actually spent on doing the design phase. So that means everything from napkin um, all the way through to information architecture diagrams and visual designs. It's incredibly important, and that's why we're so excited um, to talk about some of the UX fundamentals um, today. So, what's um, you know the best place to start is um, with fundamentals, and from there you can really learn the the tenets, the principles of building great experiences on Windows 8 apps, and then bring your creativity, brand content, um, innovative user experiences, new business models to bear on the platform. And we're really excited about seeing those. Um, coming. We're just, uh, just really getting started. Today's uh, agenda is fast-paced and action-packed. There's lots of content um, that we're going to talk about. I'm excited to have um, the actual team who worked on the platform um, and brought it to life, talking you through uh, all of the stuff, uh, all of the content today. So we're going to kick off with Chantal, who's going to talk to us about how to embrace Metro-style uh, design today. We'll then have John come in and talk about uh, less is more, commanding, information architecture, uh, and navigation. We'll then take a quick break uh, to allow you guys to get something to drink, grab a coffee, um, and then we'll back, be back with JK, who will then be talking about uh, designing for touch, mouse, uh, and keyboard. We'll then have a 45-minute uh, lunch, um, and then once we come back from that, Jason will be uh, in the room talking about um, animations and how to be fast and fluid. Um, Charing, Justin, David will then be talking about uh, snapping and scaling beautifully and designing apps um, with adaptive layout. Derek will walk us through uh, using the right contracts in Windows 8 and when to use them at the right time. Um, Sean will then be joining us for doing a session on connected and alive, which is all about live tiles and notifications and those kind of things. Um, and then Miron will be wrapping up, will be finishing off the day in training and talking about a case study and walking us through how to design uh, a particular app. And then we'll do a wrap up at the end of the day with plenty of opportunity for Q&A. So in terms of logistics, uh, online you'll see a feedback link below the video stream. We'd love you to click on that. That'll take you through to a survey where you can fill out uh, information about who you are, what kind of designer you are, what kind of developer you are and also give us feedback on the sessions. We'd love to, to hear your responses. We're taking questions throughout the day as well. Uh, if you want to email uh, wuxft at Microsoft, we'll be sitting at the back of the room taking questions. Um, and then at the end of each session, about five or so minutes, we'll be answering those questions um, from you guys. Uh, the Twitter hashtag is uh, Windows8UX. Uh, so if you want to have a conversation, want to go get online and talk to other people who are watching the webcast and also interact with us as well, um, we'll be there um, using that hashtag. And also we've had a lot of questions and interest about sessions being recorded. Um, and we will be recording the sessions and then posting them on design.windows.com, uh, make, making them available next week. So before we get started, um, I just wanted to point you to one of the most important resources that we've got available uh, on Windows 8 and design and user experience, and that's design.windows.com. Here you'll find all of the resources, all the learning materials, all of the reference documentation and examples and case studies that will help you design and build uh, great experiences. And as I've been working with <coughs> designers and, and agencies and creatives uh, in the last six months or so, we've seen the, the community start to build. It's been really exciting to see. And so things like um, Photoshop templates have been made available on design.windows.com. We're also starting to see some new stuff as well come out. And I'm, a pleased, to, I'm pleased to announce today that later today we'll be uh, pushing out balsamic templates um, so that you can create cool wireframes for your Windows 8 um, design. So we'll be releasing balsamic templates later today. 
And also, um, we'll be releasing uh, UI stencils, so you can actually draw um, and design uh, Windows 8 uh, experiences on paper. So that's pretty cool too. And then also, interestingly, a couple of days ago, um, in kind of coinciding with um, this event, one of our design agencies uh, who we've been working with early, early Ratio Interactive, um, have launched a, a design contest for Windows 8 experiences. And so they've kind of done this independently, but I just wanted to highlight uh, there's another incentive out there for you to go create uh, awesome designs and go to win8ratio.com for uh, more information about that. So without further ado, I'd like to uh, invite Chantelle up, who's going to kick us off. Thank you very much.